Hey guys, it's Dalton at Dalton ESTF Reviews, and today we're going to take a look at the Transformers Generations Fall of Cybertron Thundercracker. I'm just going to try and do this as a quick review. Uh, not really much to talk about because there's tons of reviews of this guy along with the other, you know, with Starscream out there. Just want to do a quick little highlight kind of video of him, I guess you can say. But, you know, here he is, not, compared to Starscream, you know, not bad. I mean, he's actually a lot better as far as color scheme goes. Whereas this one was just mainly molded in each color plastic with a little bit of silver and some painted blue here and there. So. As you can see, he's got that kind of a reddish, kind of, actually kind of a pink light piping for his eye and kind of a yellow-green through the cockpit and on this little neck joint thing here since it's more than the same clear plastic and as far as silver paint he's got only a little bit here on his cannons whereas on Starscream it was all over throughout the barrels here along with this little disc piece but on him it's just on that little tiny piece I'll show you the combined weapon mode here later you can see some of the purple little Energon paint apps throughout there, right in through here, in there, nice Decepticon symbols with that silver and red striping, which makes this guy look great, and you can see one of my problems right here, paint is just chipping off this guy, and I've had him in robot mode, you know, I've only transformed this guy like th four or five times, and that's already scraping off, so... A little bit of a quality control issue with the paint there. A lot of nice silver paint throughout the back here. I, I got to hand it to Hasbro for giving us all this silver paint. Would have been nice to get a little bit more, especially throughout the legs. A little bit more up and through here and on the arms. Maybe silver on these pieces here. For a quick little comparison, you've seen the one with uh, the Fall of Cybertron Starscream. Let's go ahead and bring in his original classics counterpart and that is the Generations 1.0 Thundercracker and you can see here this one is a much more glossy blue with a lot more silver and this one's kind of a I don't know how to describe it it's just kind of a matte dark blue compared to this and the camera is not really showing the difference this is more kind of a dark well, not, not really an ocean one, but kind of, I just don't know how to describe it. So you can see they did a lot of the same thing. You got the red and the silver instead of red and white. A lot of that nice silver paint. You got really nice Decepticon symbols on here. I wish they would have done that on this one instead of using that light kind of pinkish purple. So let's go ahead and get this guy out of the way. Now to start off in transformation, I actually, now before I go any further, I had to put a little bit of super glue on this toe joint. Yeah, on this one, because it was just flopping everywhere. I mean, you'd go like this and then flop up and down. So I just put a little bit of super glue in there and it's holding a lot better now. Right, go ahead and flip those in. Straighten out the legs. Let's go ahead and pull off these weapons. What you want to do is you want to lift up these little shoulder pad things. Go ahead and pull that apart. Uh, before you go any further, you want to go ahead and rotate the head. Just like that. Come on, right there. Then just flatten all these little joints in here out. Still a little tight on here. Rotate that down. Make sure those are semi tabbed into place. They won't click or anything, but. It's just kind of hard to get them to sit fully down onto that. Rotate this up. And those, there's these little tabs right in here, and they'll just go into those little slots. Just like that. You want to come back here. You want to fold the arm in while rotating this bicep. Oh, that's one thing I forgot to mention. Let, let me go ahead and bring in Starscream here real quick for articulation. Head is on a swivel. Shoulders on this kind of universal joint so it moves out rotates 360 double jointed elbows with the 360 at the bicep 360 at the wrist nothing at the waist 
in and out at the thigh, forward and back, rotates at the hip, bends at the knee, and then a little toe wiggle. So that's the articulation for these guys. So we'll come back here, rotate this back around, rotate that back, right there, Put to here, straighten that out, go right down to there. And what you want to do with the legs is just rotate this whole section back, which has kind of this really cool spinal column looking thing right in through here. Which nice, especially in that black plastic, it looks really cool. So just rotate that back and then flip out the nose cone. And we'll take these little pegs here and they'll peg in right into there. So just like that. And same on the other side, right there. Now on mine, this one goes in perfectly, but this one does not want to go in all the way through. I've tried pressing on it, I've tried tightening the screw, it just will not go any further. So I got a little bit of a quality control issue with mine, but it's, I mean it doesn't really affect it too much. But here you've got him in his kind of... Fall of Cybertron looking, well, not looking, but it is his Fall of Cybertron form, which looks like the original Tetrajet, if you kind of fold this wing down a little bit. You kind of have that kind of Tetrajet look to him. But again, all the colors come into here nicely, but with a little bit less of the black, except for right here and the bottom of the jet. You get a lot more of that blue and that silver in this mode, especially right in through here. Love it on the front, just with that purple paint. You got a little bit of a gap down here. I wish they would have just left this black or just some glossy black paint on here just to match the original Thundercracker a little bit with his black fins. Maybe do a couple of red and silver slashes on it, but it doesn't bother me too much. As for his weapons, you know, you can tab them in together just like that. And they rotate as they should. You got your little Fall of Cybertron Neutron Assault Rifle. Which, really cool gun. I love this whole little, you know, they actually give the weapons that they had in the game, sort of. Like, they give actual game weapons to the figures. So for these guys, you got the Neutron Assault Rifle for uh, Kickback. You got the Gear Shredder for Optimus. You had the Path Blaster for... Soundwave you had just this little rocket launcher, then for Shockwave you had the either the Proton Burst Rifle or the Slingshock. I mean, either one, they look similar, especially if you take off the little gray piece, the silver piece from Shockwave. But you can also, you can tab these, you know, right into here, just like that, you know, separately. Or one thing that they included was you can pull this off, and this is mainly for robot mode plug that right into there. If you really wanted to have a silly looking jet mode you can plug this in right on the top like that. But then it just spins around. And then you've got a weird looking jet. So let's just go ahead and take those off. Plug that back in. Split the gun. Plug that in. Plug it in under here. And there we got him with his weapons. And real quick, let me get Thundercracker here. The Generations Thundercracker transformed here real quick.
that they are both in jet mode. So yeah, not not bad looking. He's just a little bit thinner in jet mode and shorter. But you can see a lot of things they tried to do with the colors. You know, having the silver and red right in here with the Decepticon symbols. The clear yellow cockpit. I wish they would have just done a little bit of black, just done this whole little nose cone piece black instead of blue. Added a little bit of silver right up on here. I think the Tarkar version is going to take care of that when it comes out, so. Yep, that's pretty much it on, that's the Fall of Cybertron Gener Oh, real quick, he did come up with a comic, as soon as I can. Come with a comic from the IDW series, so yeah, not a bad read. Uh, I really like it, so that's pretty much it. So I'll see you guys in my next review. This has been Dalton at Dalton Reviews. I'll see you guys later.